Hey everybody, welcome back to my true crime channel. If you are new to a true crime channel, make sure to subscribe, hit that bell button so you can not find open new to video. If you are new to my channel, hi, welcome if you are new to the channel, welcome back. Sorry the background looks kind of like darkish or because I do record those during daytime, it'd be light and the sun be in a way, but now I'm filming in the dark time, it is 8.42 at night. I'm recording a true crime video that was supposed to be up a little like last week, two weeks ago, but I was sick. They liked it, they love like a big video on that, you watch that video, but um. This case is very, very sad, very tragic, awful story. This story takes place on a Halloween night. This pregnant lady, she was eight months pregnant, and she was killed by her ex-husband on a Halloween night in front of her little daughter. And that is so traumatizing. I don't understand how someone can just walk to someone's house, stab somebody so many times, a pregnant woman, her unborn child, in front of her own daughter, and now daughter's gonna grow up traumatized. It is, it's awful to hear that. I saw this case on Snapped. It's a true kind of show. You guys watch that on Oxygen. It is, it to me, it is so sad. I'm gonna do this case on Halloween. So I'm filming this the, the night before Halloween. Halloween is tomorrow, so this, so this video will go up on Halloween. So, yeah. Doreen Ray Hitchens was born in Santa, Santa California, Santa Clara, California, 1952. She grew up in a very loving family. She had a job as a physical therapist, and that's how she met her first husband named Michael Dennis. Who's also known as Mike Michael Dennis. Worked at Loghead Factory as a sprayer, which was right next door to Doreen's job. Mike had suffered from hearing loss, which often caused him to stutter a lot. His friend Jim Patriot told Snack on Oxygen that Mike was depressed and he didn't socialize a lot. He didn't often have many ex girlfriends either, so that's how he met Doreen. He said he had found the one, his true love. Everybody said they found the one, my true love. Everything. Doreen got married a few months later and had a son named Paul. They were often stressed and would lead to their divorce in 1977, a year after the son was born. Doreen had custody of his son, but Mike would have, would have him on the weekends. He was very angry and very bitter about the divorce, and Doreen was able to move on very quickly. Charles Horner. He and Doreen got married and had a baby girl named Diana in 1979. The death of Paul Dennis, the therapist, had a swimming pool in the backyard. In the February 1980, Paul was only four years old at the time. That is very tragic, very sad. Wow. Was into the bed, was in the backyard. The pool was surrounded by a fence, but Paul was able to climb over the fence and fall into the pool. Doreen was the only one home at the time. By the time she found Paul, it was already too late. Paul was put on life support but died three days later. That is so sad. At four years old, like, that's crazy. Dennis fought a wrongful death suit against Charles and Doreen and in March 1982, the case was taken to trial. The judge ruled in favor of Charles and Doreen. Mike was already bitter, but this is rumored to be what pushed him over the edge, probably to kill his ex-wife. This was the rumor. He also lost his job at Lockhead and and he thought that Doreen had murdered their own son, murdered their own son on Halloween 9th, 1984. Doreen, who was also eight months pregnant at the time, took Diana trick or treating. Charles claims he left the house for about 15 minutes to go to the liquor store and get more candy to pass out to the kids. At around 9 p.m., someone knocked on the front door. Doreen answered the door to a frightening sight. There was a man in a wolf mask holding a machete. Deanna was in the room, snapped at the stove, and said the man said, I'm going to kill you. Doreen told Deanna to hide behind the couch. Doreen and her unborn baby were brutally murdered. Charles, yeah. Charles returned home and found the horrible scene. 
The front door was unlocked, and Darlene was laying right near the entrance, and their unborn son was within the living room. Darlene was Darlene was stabbed, struck in the head and the body with the machete. Her left hand was severe. The fetus of her unborn baby was removed and the head to pieces. There were also so much blood that Charles actually slipped and fell in it. I cannot even imagine walking home on Halloween night, finding my husband dead in the living room a pool of blood with our unborn child. Like, that is terrifying. That is very traumatizing. And I probably would not be the same because it's your wife is dead and your only child is laying on the ground unborn and just that is so freaking sad luckily there was a survivor and charles found diana still hiding in the living room when the san jose police arrived they too found the terrible scene charles was hysterically covered in blood he was first spotted as a suspect as all family members are the front door they found the wolf mask. The wolf mask had big eyes, big teeth, and a tongue sticking out. There was also a trail of blood leaving the upper house, trailing down the block. The police took blood samples from the home. They also found out about the issues that Charles and Doreen had with Mike and Dennis and left to go to talk to Mike. Meanwhile, Doreen died on the way to the hospital. The police looked the police knocked on Mike's door. He didn't answer, but they heard running water and spotlights on. Mike finally answered the door. The police noticed that Mike had a bandage on his hand, and he told them he got the energy from playing with the knife. Because we all just play with knives in our free time, right? That doesn't make any sense. Who in the world will play with knives during free time? That's weird. They also found blood around Mike's house, bloody gauze, and on some of his clothing. The police had also looked into his car with a flashlight, and noticed blood on his steering wheel and gear shift. Mike was immediately under arrest for murder. The police did a second search at Mike's house. They found a receipt from a hardware store and a label for a machete with an 18 inch blade. In the garage, they found two handmade coffins and body bags. They suspected that Mike was going to kill Charles that night as well. But luckily, he was at home. Mike was released after 48 hours because the evidence wasn't strong enough. On November 5, 1984, Mike was arrested again for murder with special circumstances. He made him eligible for the death penalty. His blood type matched the blood at the crime scene. They also found out that Mike has dressed as a big bad wolf the previous year and attended a Halloween party. He also took pictures, which was confirmed by a woman who was in the same party. Mike's trial began in July 1988. He pled guilty to first degree murder of Doreen and second degree murder of Doreen's unborn baby. In September 1999, he was sentenced to death. However, he is in death row at San Quentin Prison. Wow. So he's still in death row. I don't know if he's dead yet, but that's just crazy how, how the ex husband think that. He lost, he took the trial because he thought that Doreen freaking killed his son. First of all, she was him watching him, but that's her fault. Number two, your son climbed to the thing and fell and drowned in the pool and let her die three days afterwards. So that's not Doreen's fault. I, maybe because she wasn't watching him, that's her fault. But it's like, as it has happened, it happens to a lot of black kids and parents ain't even watching it. And I feel like as a parent, you should watch your freaking child, especially kids who are younger than four years old or than four, who got to run around and touch things. Wow, which that's an epic fail. And he couldn't even handle of his son leaving him, which means he got to get custody battle against his son. He only visits on the weekends. He's seen his ex-wife married to another man, got another baby, and then got another baby in the way. I think that what caused him over the edge is that she had two kids by another man. She married another man. She was happy. And that's when he lost custody about his son. So he tried everything to ruin 
<coughs> everything in his power to get rid of the wife and the husband, probably the probably the kids too, the daughter and the unborn child. Which is kinda messed up because why would you kill over a child? The child doesn't do anything. It just is awful. And I don't understand as to why a man like him, like a psychopath, would even think to even thought about killing his ex wife on Halloween, knowing she's pregnant, or you probably didn't know she was pregnant at the time. Think it was a great day to do that in front of her own daughter. Like, that is insane. Like, I hope he isn't that girl. I hope he still isn't that girl because he doesn't deserve to live a freaking fresh air in his life, period. Because ain't no way in hell that if I was cussing my son and it's my ex-husband, I'm going to type of way to point out I'm going to kill him and his family. Like, no. Like, I just don't, I just don't understand what's wrong with people. I just don't get it. So anyway, side of the video is freaking short. The video was too short. I thought it was going to be super long. I got all the notes on my phone. But hey. But if you like this video, like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you guys the next the video. And happy Halloween, everybody. Bye. And be safe on Halloween. Be safe.